Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology and I have been getting many requests to make this video and therefore I am here in front of you once again with this video and this video is about which time of the day is the best time to apply for a job. <laughs> OMG Astrology Secrets. I guess I have to stop making videos on Astrology Basics and I should continue this playlist itself. <laughs> Welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and share this video with your family, friends, your relatives and other people or some people who are jobless searching for jobs so that they can be benefited from this video and also share it with those people who already have jobs so that they can also apply for promotions before beginning as always god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you to know the right time <laughs> <laughs> of when to apply that you will anyways come to know by the end of this video what I wanted to say is it is very important that we do things as per the universe because then the power of the universe is with us the energy is harmonious and that enables us to get the maximum result now what is actually a job application? What is it exactly? Job application basically is an appeal to an authority, right? Job application is a request that we put to some senior official. He can be the HR or the boss or whoever or even promotions. Which means we are acknowledging the position of a higher authority than us which means to say that it is best to be done during those times of the day when the sun is the strongest because when the sun is the strongest the power of the sun to give us what we want is at the highest am i being understood here for example when does the sun become the strongest? I will come to Jupiter later, but first I will talk of the sun here. Sun is extremely strong in the 10th house and in the 1st house. Now, especially in the 10th house, it obtains something called as directional strength, which is known as Dikbala. Dikbala means a house where a particular planet becomes very strong. Now, for some, the directional strength comes in the 10th house because 10th house is the house of the authority, the king. And sun is itself representing authority and king. And 10th house is the midheaven where sun is at the noon time. Which means to say that when sun sits in the 10th house, the person can have great rise, great status in career. It's very good for career. Another position where the sun is very strong is when sun is in the first house because that is the time when the sun is rising. Anybody born in sunrise will have sun in the first house which means that either we apply when sun is in the first house or when sun is in the tenth house. Now there is another time when you can apply that is when sun is in the ninth house also you can apply or when sun is in the 11th house 9 10 11 or first house but best is the 10th house now how will you know when sun is in the 10th house simply check the place where you are situated in that day when sun comes in the 10th house it will be roughly near about 12 12 30 if it is summer sun will come in the 10th house very early roughly by 11.30 and if it is winter then sun will come in the 10th house roughly by 12 o'clock and if it's winter uh, sorry if it is summer in the western countries like Germany or America 
then sun comes to the 10th house quite late roughly at 1 1 30 okay and if it is winter in the western countries then sun will come to the 10th house very early roughly at 10 10 30 about that time which means accordingly as per the current place where you are sitting you have to modify the place and then you have to check for example if I am located in Germany, Göttingen, that means I have to check that for tomorrow. When is sun coming to the 10th house for the city of Göttingen, city or town, village, whatever you say. And remember, this has nothing to do with my natal horoscope. I have made that video earlier, you can go and watch that. On which time to apply for promotions etc that is based on your natal birth chart this is not based on your natal birth chart this is not based on the transits this is only based on the ascendant of the day i hope i am being understood here for example let's talk with some practical cases let's take the example of this month Although sun is about to change sign from Leo to Virgo, but still the sun is in the sign of Leo today, which means when the sunrise happens, the ascendant will be in Leo, yes, because sun is in Leo, and then sun goes to the twelfth house, which means Virgo ascendant will come when sun is in the twelfth house, then sun goes to the eleventh house which means Libra ascendant will come when sun is in the 11th house and when sun comes to the 10th house what sign will be there in the ascendant it is Scorpio ascendant right Scorpio ascendant that means the moment the ascendant comes to Scorpio which means the moment sun will come to the 10th house you can start applying for the jobs and after 16th, for example, when sun goes into Virgo, sun will go into the sign of Virgo from Leo, right? Within two days. Then, when it's Virgo rising, then sun will be in the first house, in the sunrise. Am I being understood here? And then when it is Sagittarius rising, then sun will be in the 10th house. So the moment you see Sagittarius Lagna is rising, Time has come to apply. Another time you can apply is apart from the sun I am saying. If the planet Jupiter is in the Lagna. Because Jupiter represents the blessings of the gods. Yes. Or if it is in the ninth house. Especially ninth house or the first house. Fifth house also but primarily first house or ninth house. What am I saying is. Try to mix both for example if jupiter is in the first house and then you see sun is in the 10th house that's fabulous or if you see jupiter is in the ninth or sun and then sun is in the 10th house that's fabulous that will happen when now jupiter is in libra so if jupiter is in ninth and if sun has to be in the 10th house that means sun has to be in scorpio yes sun has to be in scorpio right that means 11th house has to be sagittarius 12th house has to be capricorn and then the lagna has to be aquarius so this is how you know that's the best time sun in the 10th jupiter in the 9th or if you find some other time for example jupiter in the first sun in the tenth that is also fabulous or there is another time where you can apply this is the third time i am saying if you do not find such harmonious placements the third time when you can apply is when the lord of the ascendant 
is going to the tenth house. Do you understand what I say? Let me give you an example. Well, now suppose the ascendant is in Leo. Leo ascendant, right? If the ascendant itself is in Leo, now Sun will be in the first house. Now the ascendant lord it's itself sun. So you cannot apply that condition there. But suppose you you get Virgo ascendant someday and then you see Mercury is sitting in the tenth house. Is it understood? Means <coughs> Mercury is in the sign of Gemini in the tenth house then you can apply because lord of the ascendant whenever it goes to the 10th house that that shows that signifies race because 10th house is also the house of authority which means the lagna lord which means you you are gaining so for example if the lagna is in libra and then you see Venus in the sign of Cancer, which it cannot happen now for the next year because Venus has already crossed Cancer. Now, next year, when again Venus comes into Cancer, that is the time whenever you see the Lagna is in Libra, you can put an application. Another time is now, for example, if you are a Scorpio, if the Lagna is in Scorpio. Then Mars is in the sign of Leo for the next one month, roughly one month. And for Scorpio ascendants, Leo is the 10th house. So the Lagna Lord Mars is in the 10th house. So the condition is fulfilled. The condition is satisfied. Yes. <laughs> So these are the three time periods when we can try to apply for a job. When Sun is in the 10th house, when Jupiter is in the 1st or 5th or 9th house or when the Lord of the Ascendant is in the 10th house. We have to check it properly. Because when we are speaking of job, we are especially concerning with authority because the 10th house becomes very important because of that, because it's authority, right? Another time you can apply is there is a specific Muhurta every day known as Abhijit Muhurta. Now how will you know where is the Abhijit Muhurta for you? It's very easy. Go to drikpanchang.com D-R-I-K-P-A-N-C-H-A-N-G dot com drikpanchanga.com So in that you will find where is Abhijit Muhurta. I will give the link of the website and the description and the sub links for the different things below. So then how will you see in there you go and put the place and the date. Then when you go below you will see Abhijit Murata. Abhijit Murata is nearby about in the afternoon time. Same time when sun is in the 10th house near about same roughly the same time near by one o'clock 12 30 1 1 15 like that time it's a very short time it, it's for 48 minutes or sometimes bit here there or sometimes it is bit earlier sometimes it's bit uh, back so abhijit murat is known as doshrikt murat which means it has it has no faults that is the time you can also apply. Let me give you an example. There was one person, one of my friend, he told me that I have to apply for an exam. But the deadline for the exam has been passed. So now what should I do? I said, you can give it a try just you can give it a try so then what happened i told him that check if you can do it on a 
Abhijit Murat. So that day's Abhijit Murat, forgotten him, was near about 1249. 1249, roughly it started. So I told him, one o'clock sharp, apply. Send a mail to the professor. You will get some positive response. <laughs> And then what happened? He applied exactly at one o'clock, which goes to tell me that he actually sent a mail to the professor. Now what happened? The professor told him that, I'm sorry, the exam deadline is already over, way, way, way back. You are denied a slot for the exam. And the moment he heard it, he was like, he was devastated. And he called me and said, my dear sir, you told me this will happen, but then that happened. Well, I said, don't worry, have patience. And then what happened? After two days, he called me and said, <laughs> he called me and told me that the professor has mailed him back that <laughs> oh man this is too much <laughs> that you are lucky the professor she is telling to this boy that you are very lucky why because one fellow has deregistered for the exam So now I can give you a slot at this time. Are you ready? He immediately said, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> there you go. Harness the power of the universe. Yes. Why not? <laughs> now this does not mean that whatever you do in Abhijit Murat will be fulfilled. Well, you have to have the right dasha for that. And the supporting transits only then the final result happens but what i am saying here is i am not giving any personalized prediction for anybody here i am just giving broad spectrums broad scenarios broad, broad areas on which you can think of when to send an application or not is that understood and when are the times when you should not send an application Never send an application when sun is in the 4th house or in the 10th house or in the 8th house or in the 12th house, especially these four houses. Never, never, never. Because in the 7th house, in the sign of Libra originally, sun gets debilitated. And in the 4th house, when sun is in the midnight, the authority is not there. <laughs> authority is sleeping in its home. So please do not apply that time. And in 12th house, sun is... That's the Marna Karak position for the sun because it's like telling the king to renounce. So please do not apply when the sun is in the 12th house and also in the 8th house because these are not good placements for the sun to be in. These are not, especially the 12th house and the 8th house, they are not, 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 never favorable for the sun, especially the 12th house. 8th house still I can put a question mark there but 12th house is a strict no at any cost is that understood <laughs> therefore to summarize what did i say when sun is in the 10th house or when jupiter is in the first or ninth or fifth or combination of these two jupiter in first ninth and sun in the 10th then the next one I said is when the Lagna Lord of the that day of that place is in the 10th house. For example, now for the next month, the moment you see the rising sign is Scorpio, you can apply. Because the ruler Mars will, will be in Leo, which is the 10th house. Do you get it what I am saying? So like that you have to check. And the other time is during the Abhijit Murata you can apply. By that 
you can harness the power of the universe. Is it understood? Okay, so I gave examples by which I demonstrated when you should and when you should not apply. And yes, lastly, should not apply when sun is in the 4th, 7th, 8th or 12th house. Okay, never, never, never do that mistake. Okay, that is it from my side. If you have any questions, queries and comments and if you have not subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you know somebody who is searching or planning to apply, then this is the video that you should show him, make him benefit from the divine knowledge of astrology and get blessings from God. <laughs> so that is it from my side. Bye-bye. Until next time. See you.